96 Sports End Zone. Presented by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Hi, everybody, and welcome into the end zone. Just one week left in the regular season, and it's really starting to feel like football weather out there. I'm Jeff Bacoro. I'm Forrest Tucker. Jeff, it's great to be here, isn't it? Uh, I tell you what, our game of the week this week by Clark's Pump and Shop, we go to single A. And, and you yeah. know what? We had to go because Sarah has been so good this year, right? Well, I convinced you earlier in the week. I said, we you have did. to go to Sarah, right? They're 8 no, and they're looking for 9, and they're looking to stay perfect. Uh, it's a hard task. And Chad Pennington, what a yeah. great guy. We interviewed him earlier on the 6 o'clock news, and, uh, man, he's done that a few times, hasn't he? I think he has. I think he has. The former New York Jet, you know, coaches at Sarah. All right, we're going to go to the highlights. Let's go to this one. Yeah, I was... ABC 36 Sports Game of the Week, presented by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Forgot the promo there was coming at you. So, yeah, I was going to say I was quite cold. It was rainy and windy over on Athens Boonesboro Road. And we are going to go here. First quarter, Luke Pennington to Charlie Slobot. Touchdown, 6 nothing. Pretty easy there. Looking like Sayre's going to get going. But, oh, wait, here we go. It's a block. P-A-T. They got me fooled there. Eminence Warriors, they got me fooled there. They're going to add one of their own. Six more there. The two-point conversion is going to come up here for Eminence in just a second. Looking to try and see if they can get in, and they do. Got that pass over into the end zone there for Eminence. It's 8-6. to six. They are looking like they're in a hole here, and they had a lot of penalties throughout the game. They go into the halftime interval really soul-searching. You can see Luke Pennington is captain with Brock Kaufman as well. They're saying, hey, guys, we got to do something about this. All right, field goal for Sarah. They came in the red zone and get this blocked again by the Warriors of Eminence. It's 8-6 to six going into the start of the fourth quarter. And then here we go. Thanks to Jared Peck, Herald Leader Sports, for this one here. It's Charlie Slaba running through blockers, getting through the gap, and he gets in for the touchdown, 12 to 6. Sayer stays perfect, district champs, for the first time ever. How, How about awesome that? is that? First time ever that they win it. That's cool. That is cool. All right. All right, Lexi to Christian ups their record to 8 and 1 as they win it 55 to 12 over a very good Washington County who falls to 7 and 3. And East Jessamine just falls short at Montgomery County as they up their record to 3 and 6 on the year. GRC and Frederick Douglas. Boy, the farm was rocking tonight. Douglas looking for win number six and GRC in the way. But it's the Broncos leading near the end zone. Jackson Stroutman sneaks it over and uh, to Noxie Allen. Sneaks past the defense with a touchdown. Next play, Stroutman again, this time to Cooper Ravier for another one. And it's a heck of a catch right there, 36 to nothing. Broncos back again. Stroutman trying to send it to Garrett Hale instead. Nice interception there by Kamani John. In the end, Broncos come out on top. Final score, 50 to 6. Frederick Douglas. They now face the undefeated Rebels of Boyle County in their last game of the regular season. Cards will take on Franklin County. Some more scores here going out to Richmond. Madison Southern beats West Jessman 39 to seven. And then Western Hills have had an up and down season. They lose this one to Franklin County 49. Franklin County putting the donut, as I like to say, on Western Hills there. 49 donut, Jeff. And Franklin County has got a really nice team. If I'm not mistaken, they're undefeated on the year as well. So. Look at that, look at that. All right, there's more after the break, isn't there? Stay with us. Watch ABC 36 every Friday night for Chief Meteorologist T.G. Shuck's Bowtie Friday Forecast. Brought to you by Stuart Mercer. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $20 on the BGA57 battery blower. And save $50 on the MS250 gas-powered chainsaw. Real steel. Find yours. This is living proof that there can be life beyond cancer. At Baptist Health, 
We've treated more patients with breast, colon, and lung cancer than any other health system in Kentucky and Southern Indiana. Early detection can help lead to better outcomes. To find out more about our cancer risk assessments and early screening options, visit baptisthealth.com slash cancer care. Menacing, three, two, one. The band just got covered by Delta Dental and the uh, nation's largest network of dentists, and they can't stop smiling. Delta Dental! You know I got two more. You got two jets. And then my Grand Slam, uh, I signed the ball for you. Okay. And it says, Papa, I love you. Why did you do that? A big thanks also to Governor Andy Bashir. Biden has a lot to thank Bashir for. Bashir pushed Biden's radical transgender agenda, even lied about sex change surgery for kids. A big thanks also to Governor Andy Bashir. Thanks to Bashir, fewer people are working than when he took office. A big thanks also to Governor Andy Bashir. Thanks to Bashir, nearly 2,000 criminals are back on the streets. A big thanks also to Governor Andy Bashir. Biden and Bashir, thanks, but no thanks. Sports End Zone, presented by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. You know, folks, there are rivalries, and then there's Tate's Creek and Henry Clay. This rivalry goes back to the late 60s. They played every year since, and man, it is a battle royale every time they play. And we start out Henry Clay at Roy Walton Field, and Coach Hawks trying to fire up his team, get them ready. No score second quarter. Ethan Cooper attempts a 32-yard field goal. That falls short. Tades Creek takes over, and the Commodore defense tough as nails. This game, this play changed the game. Liam Morris tries to deep pass. Steven Jones with the great pick, and he gets both feet in. Only need one, but the interception there, the creek exploded. Next play, Andrew Witherington. He hits Luke Cooper over the middle. He wait, wait, waits. He finds him. And watch Cooper. He breaks the tackle, kicks it to the outside. He goes down the sidelines all the way to the two-yard line. Just gets knocked out of bounds there. Withering then on the very next play calls his own number. And Tate's Creek goes up seven to nothing. Nice fake there. Zips around to the outside. Now, how tough is Marquavian Smith? This young man goes about 165, but right up the gut he goes all the way down to the three-yard line, just carrying tacklers. But then it's the big bull, Logan Julian, as he rumbles in. 14 to nothing, Tate's Creek. It was a happy homecoming for the Commodores, as it was homecoming tonight. And uh, a lot of, there you see, and uh, Tate's Creek wins at 35 to 6. All right, more scores here for you. Woodford County continuing their roll 42, like I said, donut zero. And then Boyle County up still the class of Danville 49 to 14 there. And we have even more. Bryan Station, they are coming off that loss to Frederick Douglass. They're going down to Madison Central. Richmond, Hallie DeVore has that outcome. Let's see hers. Bryan Station traveling to Madison Central tonight. Bryan Station the favorite in tonight's game, coming in with a 5-3 and three record. Two of their losses this season to Trinity and last week to Frederick Douglass, similar to the Kentucky Wildcats, have been mainly due to penalties. So tonight, Bryan Station looking to clean things up, get themselves back in the win column to remain a contender for the 6A. Starting in the second quarter, Bryan Station already up and Kaylin Washington breaks past a tackle for another one to put the defenders up 21 to 3. Madison Central tries to get things going offensively, but Andre Clark reads the pass, steps in front for the interception. Bryan Station, they don't let the interception go to waste as Trenton Cutright finds JT Haskins Jr. wide open in the end zone. Bryan Station's offense as well as their defense showed out tonight, leaving Madison Central with only one field goal. Final score, Bryan Station wins 49-3. to Well, thank you so much, Allie. How about Corbin? 55 to nothing. Now, get this. 
third straight regular season undefeated. 35 straight regular season wins for the Red Hounds. They are something else. And Frankfurt wins it 43 to nothing, their third win of the year over Berea. Stay with us. We have plenty more to come on the end zone after this. Yeah, you got this. So go on. Kino here. Kino here. Kino anywhere. Play Kino your way. Online or at your favorite Kentucky lottery retailer. Yeah, you got this. Asthma, cancer, diabetes, all require medical care that Daniel Cameron would put at risk. Because Cameron promised Matt Bevan-style cuts to Medicaid and to actively work to gut protections for patients with pre-existing conditions on private insurance, too. Letting insurance companies deny coverage for prescription drugs and even pregnancy. Threatening 1.8 million Kentuckians with pre-existing conditions. Daniel Cameron is wrong for Kentucky. Uncle Rick, what are you doing? I'm trying to stay cooler in my man cave. Well, this is a beer cave, and you can't stay in this cooler forever. But Clark's Pub and Shop can get you through the dog days of summer. Whether it's fountain drinks at the lowest price or you're filling up the cooler for the family and friends, Clark's has the widest selection, the best prices, and the most helpful staff you'll find anywhere. Beat the heat at Clark's Pub and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Shop local. Shop Lucky's Auto Sports. Defining rides since 1999. Looking for the best car and truck accessories? You gotta get Lucky's. Bed covers, step bars, bumpers. Lucky's Auto Sports is Lexington's largest 3M window tinting facility. We're talking lifetime warranty. Lexington's custom wheel and tire headquarters is Lucky's. Lucky's Auto Sports is your Jeep and truck suspension lift headquarters. 0% same as cash financing available. Visit Lucky's Auto Sports' new state-of-the-art showroom or luckysautosports.com. You think life is short? Football is short. So cherish every over and under before it's over on FanDuel. Bet $5 to get $200 back in bonus bets and get a profit boost every single day. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. ABC 36 Sports End Zone. Presented by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Pendleton County at Lexington Catholic, and I don't know about you, but I don't like seeing the big fella. That's Charlie Lush, the tackle in the backfield. Scary sight, but the Knights tackle runs it in for the two-yard line for the touchdown, and the senior celebrates. Pendleton to punt, sophomore Duncan Gaunt. Remember this kid's name. Man, watch this. He does his best. Deion Sanders picks it up on the bounce. He waltzes 45 yards on the putt return. Untouched. Nicely done there as he cuts back for the touchdown. Catholic up big. Junior running back Alex Rayan. Watch this as he takes the sweep. The pitch, I should say, on the sweep gets pulled down just short of the goal line. You got to get it in there, young man, when you get it inside the three. Next play, they give it right back to him. He goes in 44 nothing at this point. Next possession, Tanner Pedrochi. He takes the swing pass and watch his nifty footwork down the sidelines, and he slows down just enough to let the defense come by him. And 50 yards later, he runs it into the end zone. Lexington Catholic pulls away. He wins this one 72 to nothing. The win moves him to five and four in the year. Three wins in a row as they get ready for the playoffs. All right, to TG Shucks alma mater we go. Paul Lawrence Dunbar visiting Lafayette. Early on, Dunbar driving. Brandon Richardson with the interception here on this Ethan Teal pass. Generals win that battle on that drive. Yet with the ball a little later on, that's a pass to Kevin Amuri, who shakes off the fender and gets first down. But nothing from that drive for the team there for Lafayette. Dunbar getting some momentum later on as Ethan Teal connects with Mason Van Dyke. That's a first down. Bulldogs in the red zone. Then a few plays later, a handoff to Kyan Hall. That's a touchdown there for Dunbar. 7-0 the first points of that game. They win a close one. Final score 16-14. to All right, stay with us. Plenty more to come when we come back for our final segment of the End Zone.